I've recently made a small pause talking about why semi-automatic guns feel so awful and it unfortunately got no traction whatsoever. There even was a person saying that they didn't notice it and that's fine. If you don't play certain guns or too much FPS in general, this issue may be very hard to notice but trust me, this issue can be so bad that I'm straying away from shotguns in this game, which are arguably my favorite weapon type in these kind of games. Shotguns is a thing I always check second whenever I'm trying an FPS game and while double barrel feels pretty good in this game, what? the others not so much. Now the issue I'm talking about is input buffer. This issue is not consistent. Some semi-automatic guns are handled in a better way, some worse, but the general pattern is that the slower the fire rate, the more noticeable the input buffer is. And in certain cases it can get awful. But what is input buffer exactly? Let me first explain the good way of handling semi-automatic gun input in FPS games. Semi-automatic gun is a weapon type that fires around every time you pull the trigger. In games this is generally portrayed as you pressing down the fire button. For mainly balance reasons these guns have a rate of fire just like automatic guns. The way it works is relatively simple. Game looks at the rate of fire of the gun, time that has passed since the last shot and player's input. Let's say for simplicity's sake we have a slow firing gun at 60 rpm which is equal to one shot per second. When you fire the first shot, the next shot will be available when one second has passed. If in this case you are able to consistently pull the trigger every one second, you will maximize the potential of the gun and fire the gun as fast as possible. In reality, um, we human beings are not perfect and very often you will pull the trigger too soon. A good way of handling this input is simple, ignore it. If the shot is ready, fire it, otherwise do nothing. This is how good FPS games handle this issue and it results in a very satisfying gunplay with this gun type. These guns usually sacrifice the fire rate to have a very high damage and reward a precise aim so you should be focused on lining up these shots, not if you are quite precise with the frequency of the inputs. Unfortunately, in X Defiant it seems they added an input buffer on top of that. An input buffer in this case means that even though the user pressed the button too soon, the game remembers that and will fire the shot as soon as it's ready. This may seem like a good idea because it makes it easier on players that aren't that good with semi-automatic shooting, but actually this is awful because of one simple reason. With this solution, the moment I click the button and the moment the gun fires are not the same. It is fair to punish the player for clicking too soon by making the gun not fire, but it is frustrating to punish the player for firing the gun when they don't want it to. If I click the button it usually means my crosshair is on the enemy, but the game is very fast paced and especially with guns like shotguns, you probably are forcing a close quarters encounter, so that means the enemy will be all over the screen. And yes, this 50 to 100 millisecond difference is enough for the enemy to get out of my crosshair, me to fire my shot unintentionally, missing him as a result. Me clicking the button when I have the enemy on my crosshair and my gun firing are not the same and this is a big deal. It's probably not even intentional cause you can force your gun to fire while you are sprinting. Now as I mentioned not every gun is the same. Some guns are worse offenders, some are manageable. But the bottom line is that this just shouldn't be the game, period. I may be wrong on that but I don't even think that the input buffers when you hold the trigger so you need to click the button or pull the trigger in order to fire the shot. So it's not the matter of if you run into this issue or not, it's a matter of if you notice it. This is my bold ass visible through a 30 FPS camera that goes through an NVIDIA broadcast software to remove the background and the game is recorded in 60 FPS while being over 120 in reality. So these recordings have a lot of delay to make the issue less noticeable, yet you can still pretty easily tell something is off. If you think this is bad, imagine there is like a 10 frame gap missing in these recordings. It's even worse in reality. The worst offender I saw was Phantoms' ultimate. Unfortunately this was just a random match I was playing during the open session so there was no webcam but the moment I noticed it I decided to put my mouse to my mic so we can hear the clicks and when the gun actually fires. Wow. Ridiculous. Ubisoft, please fix.